Okay, welcome back everyone. This should be video 12. Alright, this is going to be the third dating system that we're going to use, which this dating system is going to turn to the Mayan calendar. Okay, and I have already showed in other previous videos with the star charts that I made that, that it is off with the Mayan calendar also. But what we have here is a different method of looking at the Mayan calendar. All right, so I'm not going to go into heavy detail here because I know some of you are studying the Mayan calendar. And then I know the majority of you are absolutely lost in your understanding of the Mayan calendar. So in order to go between both worlds of the people who know and the people who don't know, I'm going to give a small explanation. And then if anybody wants to do the follow-up research, they can considering the statements that I made. So here we go. Mayan calendar using its mathematical perfect of 360 and not 365 would calculate to the year 2087 AD of the year of Thoth's slash Inky slash Enlil year of his return. 2000 date, 2012 date is challengeable in this respect at least to the arrival of Thoth Quetzalcoatl. Now I know that you have, there are some Remember I told you that we cannot equate these names perfectly between each other as in these Trinity associations. But you know that Marduk is Ra in Egypt and Thoth is to be his brother. So when Thoth in 3013 was banished from Egypt, that ends up being the same year that the Mayan calendar starts over in Mesoamerica. So the long count calendar is how we arrive through the Mayan calendar at the end date of 2012. It is counted from the year 3013 BC. Now that's very interesting because it gives us a direct Egyptian, direct Sumerian, direct Anunnaki connection. But what's been done with the Mayan calendar, rather than using the mathematical perfect of 360, they have stretched it to 365.25 to account for the perfect length of our solar year. So in doing that, it has been possible that the dates have been off and that the actual real date of using the mathematical perfect of 360 would equate to the year 2087 AD, which would be some, this is us here, 2012, which would be some, you know, 87 years or 80 years roughly right about in this location right here. So once again, another dating method is giving us a different date okay all right now a lot has been said an incredible amount of information has been pulled out of this and look we have not even gone to the second side now this second side also has hidden information I want to equate to you real quick Right here we have a tractor that is harvesting, and you know that is what one of the symbols in Revelation is, is that it's the harvest time of souls. We also have one woman which is holding the wheat, which is known as a tear in Revelation, and you know it as in Jesus Christ separating the chaff from the tares. Notice that this is only one woman, one woman in the field. Now that would be related directly to the rapture where one is working and one is taking up. Now, you have to keep in mind these symbols are valid. I'm going to try to break them down in another video. We're not going into it. That's just to keep your interest sparked. So the second side is yet to come. Thank you for listening.